And we're back. It's been a whopping 53 seconds. And there's another high knocks. Should we take him down? Nah, I'm not feeling up to it. I'm kinda curious to see what's going on with this stable. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Get paid, get paid. Get paid, get paid. There's lots of pony balonies. There's Beetle Bedeedle. Is that a Bloopy just chilling out there? There's just a chilling Bloopy. Ah. Woodland Stable. What's going on with you, sir? My wagon is just perfect. Oh. It's it's finally mine. The towing harness of my dreams. Took a while to save up enough pony points for it. So many wild horses registered, so many knights at the stable, but it's all been worth it. Now that I've got this harness, I can tow to my heart's content. Hmm. Hey, have you been staring at it for a while now? Something up? You want? You wouldn't happen to be jealous of my towing harness, would you? I totally get it. I mean, if you had a harness, you know, do I have a harness, man? Back up, back up, what you talking about, boy? I traded around at Kyla at the Northeast, so if you ever pass me on the road, definitely give me a shout. Okay, I'll give you a shout, homie. What in the blue tar nation? What in the, what the hell? I wish I had to, oh dude, we hit the bloopy. Give me them bloops. Give me them bloopies. Yeah. Uh, how's a guy supposed to pick a path to the Death Mountain and trek up the mountain should be Red Hot Adventure? If I had a balloon like that one on the other side of the pond, that spice things up a bit. Fat chance of that though. Red hot? What's that? Did the fiery passion of my monologue catch your ear? Well, I don't know why everyone in the stable is southern. <laughs> but let's roll with it. Well, red hot is as red hot does, my friend. Oh. So, a while back, Death Mountain was super active. We're talking full force, nonstop, red hot lava. But now the lava all cooled down and hardens. Even it's even uh, I hate to say it, man. A new road. Oh, it's even made a new road. It's easy to walk. Mm. And ease, my friend, is the opposite of the red hot lifestyle. Now the route is going up Death Mountain from Foothill Stable to the east. On the other, on the other hand, that's. Oh no, it's dangerous road. Absolutely crawling with monsters. <laughs> That's what I call red hot. But uh, my muscles aren't exactly ready to take the heat right now. So that makes my decision more complicated. Let's talk to the blue person. Let's get ourselves a balloon. We're probably not ready to fly anywhere though. We should probably do the... There's going to be a... A shrine here, right? I would imagine. I would imagine. I hope he's okay. What the hell is that? Hey! Look who it is! Hey, Traveler, it's Gilton! Do you have business in the cave by any chance? I'm sorry to say it right now, but it's. Big Brother? Oh my gosh. He has a brother? What? Dude. Oh my god. It's no use. Colton. Please, it's impossible. Uh, uh, absurd even to try to turn yourself into a legendary creature. A centauri no less. Absurd. You should be working on the monster collection with me instead of chasing the silly dream like that. Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> I 
I will never give up Colton. I've always wanted to be a, a Centauri. I will be a Centauri. I don't care what it takes. All I need to do is get my fingers on a bubble gem. And then I'm sure I'll turn into a Centauri. Hey, we have bubble gems. Cave called Bubble Frog, and it glows just like a Centauri. God, I didn't think it would be so high on the wall or run about all nimbly bimbly like that. In any case, little brother, why not get something to help you catch your Bumble Frog? Yes, yes. Do you remember all of the treasure you collected? You could offer that in a trade. I got one. I got one. Yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Fingers, bubble jam. Yep, oh, got, yep, yep. What's your dream? <laughs> well, he simply dreamed becoming a Satori. Satori's legendary creatures have been spotted all over Hyrule. White, bluish, fur, red, of these ancient texts that told how to transform myself, transform me, Colton, into a Satori. Bubble fog, sharing creature that lives in dark caves, glows bluish white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bubble Jam makes me feel fine. I'm chasing the bubble frog lurking in the cave. I wanted to get my fingers on the gem. But who knew the bubble frog could gamble? Oh, gamble about like that. So nimbly bimbly. I want to be sorry. Who say blah? I'm sorry. So if you get a hold of the bubble gem, please give me here. Take this. That's a bubble gem! Colton, it's a real thing? A perfect shape. And a faint blue glow. It's a real bubble jam. Real as it can be. You did it. Now I can transform to the story just like the ones at our door. Uh, thank you so very much. Please take this and check it in turn. The cobbler mask. Oh my gosh, not worth it. Let's get out of here. No, no, I don't care. No, nimbly bimbly. Bimbly boo. Oh my god, he's eating it. Gulp. God, my body isn't changing, but I do feel a certain sensation washing over me. It could be one thing that I'm on my way to become a Satori, and that means more. I need more. I can't just gobble them up one at a time. No, I think uh, that'll never work. I must collect lots and lots and eat all of them all at once. And if I do that, Kilton, big brother, I've decided to set out on my journey and collect <laughs> bubble gems. <laughs> I see. Well, it seems you made up your mind. That being the case, you will have my complete support. I'll help you collect as many bumble gems as you need. <laughs> big brother, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Travel, I'm grateful for your help, but I've decided to set out on my journey to collect bumble gems. Next time you get your fingers on any bum gem, please do give them to me. Hi. If you do, I'll trade you a gifty from my collection of treasure for it. And with that, I hope we meet again. Alrighty then. Hi. Uh, I guess I hope he's able to make his dream come true. Now, I have to be on my way as well. I'm making a journey to Terrytown! Booyah! We gotta go to Terrytown too. And though I hate to impose, but I do hope that during your travels you'll find time to assist him further. I will keep my eyes and ears wide open for news my brother's whereabouts, so visit me in Terrytown if you need help finding him. Yes, yes, I'll be going now. All right, so they're in Terrytown. Should we check this cave real quick? I really don't want to. I really am. I got one track mind, you know? You guys ever just get one track minded like that? Pico Pond Cave. That's another wobbly, wobbly boo. Oh, these are sparkly though. Um, do I have? I got this one. Okay. Lint. It's not sparkly enough. 
Yeah, I won't waste any more. Ooh, what's that? Just the lizard? Get the lizard, get the lizard. Ah, uh, let's change weapons. Bubble jams make me feel good. <laughs> oh, I'm using all my extra stamina up. Man, we got so much hearts and stamina right now, dude. We're crazy. Beat the game. Let's go beat this game. I'm excited. It's been a while since I've been this powerful. All of the power. You don't have a mark over your head. Ooh, what's going on here? I gotta pee. I'll be right back. And we're back. Hey, music. Oh, it's not a fluter. Man, we need the fluter. Alright, mind going through it all one more time just to make sure we have all the details correct. What happened that night when the great fairy hid herself away? Mm. Well, we heard our uh, accident here. We had our accident here one awful night sometime after the upheaval. We saw the great fairy nearby vanish from view. Uh, I was troubling somehow oh my gosh <laughs> it was troubling somehow we got into our wagon to go to her that's when it happened no. frightful the whole thing that's when the woman with blonde hair jumped out in front of us what oh my god I gotta sneeze <laughs> okay our host bolted away and ran off into the night but the real tragedy that involved one of the most crucial members of our troop. Oh my god, the flute troop? Our beloved Breezer. Some of the wheels broke, and now we can't even transport our instruments to performances. Oh no. At least no one was hurt. But since that night, the great fairy has been hiding in her bud. She seems afraid of something. No, no. Oh my god, it was that woman, I tell you. She did something to the great fairy. She's a villain, twice over. She left the scene of our tragic accident without so much as an apology. Mm -hmm. Whatever reason the great fairy has for hiding herself away, we thought a performance would cheer her up. Mm -hmm. But the breezer broke down. We can't transport our small troop or our instruments there. And one who caused all of this was a blonde haired woman, you say? Hmm, could that have been? She's just causing trouble all over Hyrule. Oh. Princess Zelda has become a crazy lady. Oh, hello, little partner. I didn't know you were this way. Uh, you have perfect timing though. Sorry to spring this on you so suddenly, but we've got work to do. These fine musicians here were just telling me they, um, <laughs> an interesting tale. Apparently the great fairy who lives near this stable has shut herself away in her flower bud. Why you ask? Well, it seems to have something to do with a mysterious blonde haired woman. Mm. My reporter instincts are calling out Could the mystery woman be he her? Could she be Princess Zelda? Oh. Of course we can't put anything to print until we're sure it's true. So we have to go talk to the Great Fairy first. Great Fairy? Ha! ha asking all the right questions. Good instincts, kids. You'll make a decent reporter again. Ah! Look up those hills. See that big plant in the distance? Uh, that's, oh my god, the one that's sprouting through pretty stuff? That's right. There is the flower bud where the great fairy, oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, why can't I read out loud? Uh, that's right here. Is the flower bud where the great fairy lives? Yes, okay. 
They say she really likes this musical troupe. Well, that's true, the flute troupe. <laughs> right? The other one needs a flute troupe! Anyways, uh, and that's why she moved near the stables recently. The great fairy who lives, who loves this troupe's musical performances, that's alone is something worth looking into. Oh! We must have forgotten the great fairy, fairy bestows protective blessings on the travelers. Her presence is essential to the stable. I do hope we can help her soon. Aww. If only we had a way to reach her. But Razor is broken, so we don't go anywhere without it. Not to mention our horse is gone. We're stuck here. Oh man. All right, so this is the great fairy first. We're out there with our pony. Come on, super pony. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, dude, we're gonna drive. Hit this first, right? Fast travel. You just travel back. It's a whole new world. I swear that's what that song sounds like. I don't know about the shield, guys. I really don't. Guys, I know. I can't read. Apparently, I'm charging. <laughs> it's rough. It is rough. Oh my god, tongue tied, tongue twisted. She sails by the sea, sails by the seashore. I don't know. She sails by the seashore, but. Oh man, I can't even do tongue twisters. Alright, what is this? Okay, um. Time reverse. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best. We can't read, but we kick this game's ass. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so bad. 
Please, I want, I want another behavioral comment. Still learn how to read, you're so retarded. Yeah, I know, thank you. One and done, right? One and done. We need to find a tower around here. All right. And our pony. Oh, there's something up there. But we're on a mission. Let's do it. Isn't this the way to Kakariko Forest? You've come for my blessing of clothing enhancement. I've heard this land is now smothered in gloom and overrun with monsters. Oh, I'll never hear a musical troupe pass by again and that sweet notes of the violin player. Uh, I'm staying sealed up in my flower bud for the rest of eternity or until I hear a violin in the world once more. I came here to be close to the stable where I could offer my blessing to travelers. But now, until I hear a violin playing, I'm a mu by a musical trope. Oh my god. I can't bear the thought of ever going outside ever again. That was a complete waste of time. Just talk to the thing. We live with chapter reverse. Liar face. Fix the wagon. Come on, home. Yeah. All right, so easy peasy, we just fix your wagon, right? Yeah. Gotta be parked somewhere. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Just like that. And just like that. Dude. I fixed your wagon. The Great Fairy's presence is essential to the stable. I wish I could perform for her. I think she'll feel better then. Mm. If only our music could reach the Great Fairy. I'll take you. Uh. I can't believe it. Yeah, yeah. He's made some sort of ch ch change to Breezer. We may be able to be on our way now. Quick, let's get in. We wouldn't want to be left behind. All right, so... What's going on? <laughs> the Priester is rocking. Thank you. We can take it from here. All right, Maestro. 
Lead us into the performance. Yeah, yeah. Our little troop must play with all the all of it. Oh my God, all the heart we can for the great fairy. Here we go. Better be some good ass music. Drop it like it's hot. could resist coming out to the bask in the beautiful music. Now that I'm outside, I see that the world is not at all how Princess Zelda described it to me. She warned me that an awful gloom was spreading all over the land and that the world was soon to be lost to monsters. I hid myself away. Mm -hmm. But now that I look back on it, while Princess Zelda was speaking to me, I had a feeling something wasn't right. In the deep dark, of the night, I couldn't see her face clearly. Maybe it was something else entirely. Mm. So she looked like Princess Zelda, but wasn't Princess Zelda. I don't like the sound of that at all. I think our reporting work might be taking a darker turn here. On the bright side, the Great Fairy is out of hiding, and that's a big scoop. I've got to take wing, wing. <laughs> And get this news written up for the newspaper. Mm. We've worked together on two cases of stories related to the Princess Zelda. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Mm. Oh, sweet. Yep, I had to die shot for that. At this point, by accepting and making use of it, you can now show that you're officially part of the Lucky Clover Gazette. Mm. I don't think it's a bit more simple, though. Anyways, that's all done. It's always great working with you, partner. Okay, I'm going to take this story to head back to the article. I will keep readers hanging on to every word. Ah! So long. Maestro, I thought the rest of our musicians left the troop because they didn't like how I played my violin. <laughs> that wasn't it at all. Why, you moved the heart of the great fairy herself with your violin. Your playing is impeccable. <laughs> I guess I really did do that, didn't I? I heard the other great fairies also are hiding away from the buds. <laughs> I bet you, I mean, will play music for them that'll cheer them up too. Yeah, yeah. A brilliant idea. And you know what that calls for? Reunion our, reuniting our troop. The sta stable trotters. <laughs> Thank you for helping us get here. It means a lot to me. Okay, we're a troop of two for now, but oh, just you wait. I just know we're going to get the other musicians back with us somehow. Yeah, yeah. Now that it's decided, where we should get ready for the journey. Let's hurry up and get the other fairies and bring them out of hiding. Sweet! We did it! Yes! Huh? I was about to return to my spring. It's sweet. Serenity when I heard those two mention my sisters. There are four of us across the land, you know. Mm -hmm. 
You will find my sisters in their flower buds. They are scared. And I was to come out of hiding. Oh, she marked them all for us. Mija is near the stable in Hebra. Kaya is near the stable in Hyrule Field. And Colette is near the stable of West Nekuludra. Oh. I've been worried about our safety, but after hearing the musical troupe, I feel much better. May I ask if you find the other buds, could you talk to my sisters? Oh, and while you're here, how about enhancing your clothes? Mm -hmm. With the power available to me? I, yes, enhance away. Oh. oh, baby. Okay, so we do that to four. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Armor upgrade. Now we're the most powerful beings in all the planet. Yeah, buddy. <sighs> yep. All right, just like the old one. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got Highland trousers on. What is this? Ten? Oh, that's how much money it costs. That'll go up to five. That'll go up to five. Do I want Highland trousers or trousers of time? Oh, that takes a star fragment. Okay, let's do trousers mm. of time. Oh. Or Highland trousers. Yeah. <sighs> Well, that bumped us up a little bit. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful. All right. Oh. And let's do the hood, of mm -hmm. course. Mm -hmm. It takes a sapphire and five of these. Ah, oh, that's pretty cheap though. I mean, we do need to go up to the Hebra zone soon, right? Yeah, I mean, we could buy the other one though. I think it'd be stronger. All right, well, we'll just wait. Oh. Mm. <laughs> now let's equip these. There we go, 15 boys! We are like almost twice as strong here. Did she steal my horse? What the hell? She stole my horse. Man, what a bee hole. What a big pile of bee hole. Actually, let's head up here, huh? Let's go see what's going on with the forest dwellers. Maybe they can see the mountains. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Um, is there a tower over here? You guys remember there used to be the old shrine. What happened to all the shrines? You know, the big, uh, big shrines. The real ones. What happened to all the ancient technology, too? That's kind of weird. Weirding me out, boys. Weirding me out. Oh man, again. I'm running for it. I'm running. While we're here, we might as well check out the forest. Oh man, is it completely blocked off? Oh no, there's just another hole. Okay. We can go around that. Jeez. Yucky. You know, likey. Ooh, grab some of these. Those are handy. Oh, not again! No! Stay away! Tomates? we get some tomates. Is the forest gone or something? Is it down here? Oh, it's down further. 
Oh man. Find out next time. <laughs>